So I've got the lower unit off of a, it's like a 1980s to 1993 or something, Mariner 90. Um, somebody cobbled together the lower unit, so I'm just rebuilding it. I didn't find any videos online, so I figured I'd make one. Um, so I got everything out. I didn't, uh, I didn't show any disassembly or anything, but... I ended up getting that race, the new race in there. I got the old one out by using a slide hammer, and threading a bolt, and then just using the lip of the bolt around the hole inside and just kind of beating it out. That took forever, but I got it. And then uh, put that in, put it in the freezer, and then that pounded in nicely after I wire wheeled the inside. And this is your inside um, gear and I put a new bearing on the inside and on the outside they're pressed on fit so you have to put them in the freezer and then kind of beat them on with a big socket and be careful I use the wooden block socket to get them out I ended up having to cut this one off with a, with a cutoff wheel and be uh, super careful I kind of did it at an angle and then used uh, Used a pipe, a long piece of pipe, and slid it through the middle, and then uh, kind of had it at an angle on the bench vise and on the table, so I could use a cold chisel and kind of knock, knock the inner uh, inner bearing race in here out. Um, cleaned everything up. Used a carbide burr to get this inner bearing out because it's seated flush up in there, so you can't really get a punch on there and punch it out. And even if you do breaks it all apart so what I did is I just lightly ground until I barely start to see the um, this gear and then I used the cold chisel and just kind of split it and then did it at another spot split it and then I was able to kind of punch it out and work it out um, this is the part that I didn't really know kind of how it went is this uh, they call it like a follower cam this comes out um, See if I can do this with one hand. So this piece, oh, so there's a there's a bearing. So this piece has a little kind of race on the inside. And then another bearing came out. And then the three bearings go right in here. And there's another bearing that came out. Day. And then this is the piece right here. This goes in. There's a big spring. I can't show you. Big spring about like probably that long once it's connected onto this piece. And you have to take this sir clip out. Sorry for the shoddy camera work. Take this spring clip off. There's a guide pin right there. And you beat that out. And that guide pin goes right through the middle of that and then there's that race where those BBs sit and then this piece slides right on top and then you just got to carefully shove it in to everything right there um, some dude put standard bolts in here these are M8 by 125s so I had to chase those out um, I guess the, the rest is kinda self-explanatory but I didn't have to do any of this just got a brand new carrier bearing so that was all good um, and just slid everything on, cleaned out all the corrosion and everything, and uh, yeah, so it should just kind of sit just like this. Hope that helped somebody to at least get a visual for what you uh, what you got to do. But uh, hope you enjoyed it.